All right, kids, Louisiana Beer Reviews with myself, David, and your host, with the most, is Jay Terry. Some would disagree with that. All right. All right, so we're looking at Cats Away IPA. This is a beer from Rochester, New York. Um, so if you let make Genesee Premier, which you liked, it's it's made for the Walmart company. Right. This is a this came in a variety pack from Walmart. Um, so this says it's the Twelve Trouble percent. Brewing Company, and so we're gonna see what Trouble says. Five point nine percent. Five point nine percent, correct. Uh, and this is an IPA. Five point nine is a little low for an IPA, but we'll see. We did do a video. We deleted it because it was ragged. Things were rushed, and we didn't delete anything. Uh, I mean, I deleted it. Let me okay. clarify that statement. All right. So we're going to go ahead and give this a Although you agreed with the deletion. Okay. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, man. Okay, it's building, it's building, it's building. Um, about two years ago, Walmart got together with uh, this company in Rochester, New York. And like a lot of places make a variety pack for us. Red ale with honey, uh, red, yeah, red ale with honey, pale ale, India pale ale, and Belgian style wheat ale. And now mm -hmm. there's a double IPA coming, but I haven't seen it yet. All right, so thick head. Yeah. Excuse me. I know you went off and you brought back some beers, and I did taste the Genesee cream. And this one. Since this isn't our first pony show on this, or our first review, uh, this one does have remnants of that creaminess. Hmm. I wonder what compound they use that gives it that. It's like a starchiness. Could be something with their yeast. I don't know. <clears throat> but it's like really fluffy, right? Like yeah. we've done a number yeah, of. Yeah, even even on the second pour, which mine would be, is is quite fluffy as well. Like the bubbles are coming up, but they're not dissipating. So it's clear, it's golden. Yeah, got to give it that. It's twelve fifty six a twelve pack, but you know, hey, well, it's an odd number too. Hey, for a twelve pack, twelve fifty six, yeah. not twelve ninety nine like you expect, or eleven ninety nine. Yeah, twelve fifty six. You mean Weird. odd in the? number of it not that because it's an even number it's just odd that it's that price well you see everything it's it's dot 99 and that's to tell you okay well you're getting so it's cheaper because it's dot 99 it's yeah, like when you, you buy notice, gas you ever notice it's dot 99 and it's like no it's just it's just it's just rounded up to the other side. Did you ever notice at Walmart all their prices are strange? Dot like ninety nine. They, no, everything's like a dollar seventy nine or eight forty six. It's like prices that no one else does. It's like they have this huge calculation center where they realize if they price this whiskey for eight forty six, they'll make way more money than if they priced it for eight forty five. Right. You know what I mean? It's like it's weird, like that. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. You know what I'm talking about. All right. Here we go. Cheers. Well, it smells like Genesee. It's not too aromatic. It's like Genesee. It's not dank. But, but there is a it yeast. It smells like an amber. Amber? Yeah, it smells like an amber. It smells like it not smells much. like a base beer and somebody just went ahead and did something to it. <laughs> it's weird. Base beer that somebody went and did something to it. Correct. Okay. There are beers that companies do things with. Them. It's more malty than hoppy. If you're looking for a hop bomb, I'm thinking you're looking in the wrong place. Okay, it tastes. It's malted cream. That's it. Um, it's malted cream. Malted cream. It's strange. Yeah, we just drank those really big 
hopped out beers, but there's a there's a code, but you can't decipher it. It's malted cream. I would not buy this again. I just I just don't like it. It's it's I, I think it's disguised in itself. There's no way this is an IPA. It doesn't taste like an IPA. It tastes like a multi cream ale. Taste again. There's the hops. Even a grasshop is in there. Well, we'll try it. <laughs> it makes you think that this company must be British owned secretly because it does taste like these British India pale ales, which are nothing like American. It, 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 <laughs> I don't know if you ever tried Coniston Bluebird. It tastes strange like that. You know, it. it's not a bad flavor. It's not good, kids. Don't buy it. No, I'm saying you should buy it because uh, it's it's peculiar. It's peculiar. But it's not. If you're used to drinking Sierra Nevada, I uh, Sierra Nevada. Um, it's cream ale. It's bizarre. <laughs> it's bizarre, and I'll give you that. It's not an IPA. It's definitely an ale. It has earthiness. It's like a a British bitters. No, it's, it's, it's like it's like someone's grandson trying to make beer and watch his grandma. Oh, you went and bought it. No, it's it's. Of course, strict. I bought it. Why not? It's a novelty. Walmart comes out with craft beer. Let's go try it. Yay! <laughs> and, 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 and if the double, I will buy it again. If the DIPA shows up, you'll buy that. Yeah, yeah try it. Of course, why not? That's what this is all about. We're all about bringing the truth to American beer drinkers. It's all about the truth. Don't be like you can't handle the truth, because you can't handle the truth. And I'm telling you right now, this is not a worthy IPA. It's strange. The mouthfeel is medium. The finish is... It's, it's a cream malt bomb. Yeah, if you're looking for a golden malty bomb. But you know, it's strange because I did my own independent solo review of it, and it had more hop character. and. Um, I don't know what their consistency, their quality control is over there. Um, I never was a fan of Genesee beer, the regular Genesee, because it had a strange sourness. And um, the highest I think I ever gave it was a B. Um, the cream ale I like, but it's strange too, because I even told Maria in New York, I said, don't you find that Genesee cream ale has a strange cake? Icing, like you know, like that Duncan Hines yeah, frosting. Yeah, getting that frosting. Too. It's like cake frosting. It's bizarre. Well, you know, it, there's a lot of things about this beer that are not right. Uh oh, look at this chair. It's all in the way. Oh, oh. <laughs> sorry about that. Raw iron. Sorry about that, folks. Um, Speaking of which, we know there's a beer in it called Raw iron. We're gonna have to review it. Which I might prefer this over that. Um, right. Oh, the Giacomo. That'll get you... Sh now, the Giacomo... The Giacomo was the good stuff. Okay, to sum it up, there is... There is an underlying bitterness, though. you got to admit that. It's underlying. It's not pronounced. So they're using hops. What they're using, I do not know. <laughs> um, it's... I'm going to say it's a B. It's good. It's just bizarre. If you're looking for bizarre beers, it's like an A+. It's like... Everything about it doesn't fit, but um, I mean, heck, you're paying twelve fifty six for a twelve pack. What do you think you're gonna get? World class? I mean, you know, you know, you're not gonna get that, right? It says it's an IPA. I expect it tastes like an IPA. Yeah, yeah it tastes but, like a creamy old bomb, mold bomb. Sorry. Yeah. Not good. I'm not trying to defend I'm the not, I'm not, I'm, you know what, I'm not going to give this a favorable review. No, give it a score. Give it a score. I'll Call it, it. I'll give it a D. It's not great. A D. Right. A bad beer. Okay. Yeah. I, I, it's, it's not an IPA. No, it isn't really. Right. Not this can. But so how not. can you give it a B if it's not an IPA? Well, a month ago. It's not even full of along the lines of, of, of the title that it is. It's a cream bomb. 
Now, if they said, okay, cat's away, cream bomb, cream a bomb, then you know what? It, it would probably be something favorable. Yeah. Not good. I guess I just, I'm saying it's a B because it's quaint. It's peculiar. It's odd. It's, it's, it's like you don't taste these kind of things too much. Okay, so you're going off of style. I thought we did beer reviews by style. Right, if you review it by style, forget it. It's just like and off there, the rails. There you have it, kids. Spoken by myself and yours truly host, Jay Terrio. This is not a good IPA. We're going by style, as we should on every beer, just to do it ice, budget beers, and craft beers. Now, <laughs> not good. Let's assume that style doesn't exist and that all beer is just beer. Then it's kind of good in a bizarre sort of way. All right, kids. At this point, you can go ahead and shut down the video. I like it, but no, 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 no. I'm not pontificating. I'm not. I'm saying it, I like it, but it's just as we say, just for yourself. It's you need to buy it and try it because it. There is an. I don't care what he said. You don't need to buy it. There is an underlying bitterness. Uh, 